Welcome everybody to the news slash opinions video that I always do. Everything has my opinion, so take it as you will. Hate it or love it, I'm still going to be here, still going to be giving my opinions, and still going to be doing my video. With some new news from Niji Sanji EN, of course, she is a songbird of Niji Sanji EN, I believe. Yet, songbird and alouette. Right here, it says, hey everyone, I'm really excited to announce that I will be a part of Doko Doko's... Ah, uh, she forgot the, 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 the middle. I, I make these mistakes all the time. Doko Doko's... Doko Coco's Cafe. If you happen to order my drink and dish, please make sure to take lots of photos and show me. So, of course... That is engagement. This is going to be a part of it. Ver Vermillion. You're going to have Maria Marionette and Alouette. Finana Ryugu, Midi Parfait, and Sunny Briscoe. Some of these people have had, as you know, some um, foot and mouth moments. But I've had foot and mouth moments. Everyone has those. So right now, we're celebrating the fact that at the very least, at some point in time, Nidhi Sanji Ien, a management got off their ass and tried to do something for Nidhi Sanji Ien. Of course, these are the more popular people in Nidhi Sanji Ien which is what you usually do. And of course, their collaboration cafe in Southeast Asia. It's the first time that they're doing it in Southeast Asia. Ground floor, Lala Port, BBCC, Kuala Lumpur. And you have the drinks here. You have Starry Night uh, Mocktail, I believe. You have Mint Ocean Fizz. You have Melon Sparkle Juice, Rose Lemonade, Pomegranate Magic Elixir, uh, Passionate Lemon Zest Blast. And then with those, you can get coasters and things like that. As you know, in the past, Nidhi Sanji people, like the, the actual Nidhi Sanji fans, have bought a lot of stuff. I think they did a summer cafe or like a summer beach cafe thing. There was an issue where people were just buying drinks to get the to get the coasters and the drinks were getting just left there, which is a shame for people who actually wanted the drinks because uh, you don't have unlimited uh, supplies for each drink. So you only have the limited supplies, maybe 100 drinks or something in a day or whatever it is because you don't want to buy too much. You don't want it to just be left over. So hopefully this doesn't happen. But of course, as you can see, you have sticker sheets, laser tickets, uh, card holders and lanyards, hand mirrors and random badges. Those are uh, as well as tapestries too. All these things are people will say cookie cutter things, but they're also easier to create. Like I know there are a lot of creators who do these things, whether it be uh, smaller or larger creator. They're all doing this. So that's nothing wrong with them doing that cookie cutter stuff. Uh, you expect a little bit better from a large company like Nidhi Sanji, but Hololive does the same thing as well. As you know, I try to be fair. And I would think this is more the talents probably pushing Nidhi Sanji instead of Nidhi Sanji doing it on their own. Just knowing the way Nidhi Sanji EN is with their talents, um, they've kind of just left them, let them be, create whatever they want, the heck they want. So I'm sure that the, uh, you know, Anna and others were pushing for this kind of stuff to happen. We have a new McDonald's ad that popped up recently. As you know, I had covered that uh, Miko, Sakura Miko from uh, Hololife, is Hololife JP, of course, is in McDonald's ads now. She is a part of the whole McDonald's shindig, the whole thing in my dubs going on. Let's hear her and what she has to do do and say and all that other fun stuff nice Nice. They have done this, and it is very wonderful to see. Uh, fried mac and cheese sandwich, pretty much. Yeah, it's it's uh Gura Koro's burger, which is short for Gratin Croquette. Gratin, 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 the Gratin. So let's see here. Here it is. Gracoro burger returns to Japan with new bolognese sauce. The Gracoro burger featuring a Gratin uh, croquette. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still probably saying it wrong. Uh, an annual limited re time return. I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, McDonald's over Japan starting December 1st, 2021 is when it was. Grakoro Burger is also named the combination of Gra from Graten from the Koro from Koroke, i.e. the Japanese way of saying croquette. The Grakoro is a burger patty sized croquette filled with shrimp and macaroni and a creamy white sauce with rich, crispy fried panko shell. So nice. That is what she is announcing here, of course. And McDonald's Japan on Twitter. This is their main thing here. It's, it's, uh... Region locked to Japan for whatever reason. There you go. She is she, she's surrounded by burgers. But yeah, it's that it's that burger there that you can see that you can see right here. That's the burger that she is uh, pushing. I, if you remember when Pekora did hers, she was pushing something for the the uh, the moon festival and the moon viewing moon viewing festival. And this is, of course, for this Krakoro burger. Congratulations to Miko for Hololive also pushing these wonderful collabs. It's still, it's funny as heck, but it's still a wonderful collab. Pushing these collabs, it's amazing to see. 
I'm so glad when the girls, when any VTuber gets this kind of help from their agency. As we know, Doki Bird called her fan base Dragoons recently. I mean, when she came back, that was one of the ones that she that was on the running of all the things, one of the things people recommended to her. It was voted through. She took it back from the old agency that she was because that isn't a trademarkable name that she can't even trademark it because Dragoons were um, horseback uh, cavalry uh, in uh, Europe back in the day. So that is something like, I think it was Cossack Dragoons or something like that. It or well, it was in Europe. I forget exactly when, but it was in Europe. So that's that's a name that cannot be trademarked because it's it's a historical name. So need you know the place that she was at couldn't do anything. But here we have Michi reacting to the fact that she called her fan base dragoons. VTuber, your favorite VTuber to watch playing FPS games such as Battle Runs, Overwatch, and Call of Duty. Best bro. She okay, skips. <laughs> yeah, we gotta be careful with all the mind, <laughs> all the minds around us. I'm a little bit. Good, good. Next one, Miss V. Iron Mouse is an in Miss VTuber? That came in as a little bit of a shock to me, but let's see Mint Fantome. What is this creature? What did we, what did we summon? Oh, 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 oh my God, it's, it's disgusting. I remember this, this was so good. The way she did it was so good. <laughs> Wait, where is it? <laughs> Sorry, I was about to vote for Mint anyway. My bad, guys. Gotta vote for my Oshi around these parts of town. Most dedicated fan base. Beth, can we have a moment of silence? An 07 for the fact that we didn't make it here? Fair play, though. We were up against Shondos, Vitos, Dokis, and Nerissa. So honestly, fair play. But it's okay, guys. We got circumcised today. We still have next year. Oh, God. Don't forget to vote for the foreskins. <laughs> we have Shondos, which are fallen. Vito, which is swarm. The dragoons, which is... <sighs> Doki bird. <laughs> and jailbirds, which are Nerissa. Dude, that shit always catches me off guard. I'll be real with you. The moment Doki decided to name her viewership dragoons... This is difficult. All right, like I have like a new slate. You know, this is how I like to think. I like to be like, okay, we have a pamphlet of everyone's current names and every other current detail about them. Don't talk about it unless they've brought it up. Before they make it canon now, it's not canon and I never knew about it. It's like a clean slate. This shit threw me so off guard. Oh my God. Who the fuck said she? Shut the f up. Okay, don't. Mom, time that guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm serious. Time that guy out. For those of you that are like, um, actually, if you didn't know, she used to be inverted balls. They used to be <laughs> someone really awesome. Now they're really awesome on the internet. What are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. They used to be someone in an agency. They're not someone in that agency anymore. Uh, they are now Doki Bird. Doki. They're doing every single thing she's gotten now is because she is Doki. And of course, that is one thing that, that Michi understands. Everyone understands. Absolutely everyone understands it. Said loyal fan base also wanted to be called Nesticles. So don't worry about that. Both Nesticles and Foreskins were taken away from us. We could we could have combined both and become Dragoonsticles. Michi, you don't understand. You don't understand how the name really sticks with us because it formerly belonged to a certain purple dragon. Of course, people understand that. Of course, everyone knows Nesticles won. Uh, should have been called Freebirds. No, but really, it surprised me that she actually named us Dragoons. I was thinking, is she allowed to do that? Does she not care? If not, then based. Yeah, she didn't really care from what I gathered. She really didn't care because like she said, she said herself, Doki herself said, it is a name that is not able to be trademarked so she can take it back anytime that she wants. And she did. And I'm proud of her for doing that. Of course, it doesn't really matter who I'm proud of, but I'm proud of her for doing that. And the whole community is proud of her for doing that. will officially sponsor the Doki Bird Oversight Apex Custom. How do we know this? We have it here. I'm heading home now. I have lots of work to do before the stream. Best of luck. Cool. You, you Will you be stuck in traffic? Who knows? I see. EA Apex is officially sponsoring the custom, so I have paperwork to do with Tempo. And she's freaking out about it. You know your stream is in 50 minutes, right? Coot Dragoon is also, you know, it's like like uh, laying laying down. Negotiations succeeded. So yeah, they're going to be there. What people have to say in response to this is, what does the Apex side of EA seem not so not EA? Better it stays that way. Remember reading, well, here's the thing. EA will be less on your throat. If you're successful, if you're successful as the Apex side has been, they let them be. Your money maker will manage you less, type of thing. Remember reading that EA sent her some things around the time she came back as Doki? Could never wrap my head around how even a soulless company like EA can manage more empathy and opportunities than her company that she used to work at. Even if they did that simply for good PR, still better than one than that uh, blah, blah, than the one that has no intention to support their own talent to grow unless emergency time uh source from the tweet here alan tell us this was the mysterious sponsor that she was negotiations with crazy how this custom is going to be officially recognized now so proud of the oshi to make this fine addition to my collection uh i'm so happy she deserves it 
Let's go. I'm so happy for her. And yes, I will never click this additional replies. I have been burned way too many times before. But it is nice to see that she is getting this type of support from large agencies, from freaking the person who makes the darn game. It is amazing to see. Is a new kind of star that stars the end. They've been doing, you know, different um, VTubers, Black, Black Friday, Mystery Deals, all that kind of stuff. And they have a new announcement. Their announcement is to our community, Glitch Stars creator, uh, Aku Miaoi, has chosen not to renew her contract with Glitch Stars. Instead, she will transition to our sister company, Glitch Partnership Network, where she'll continue creating content while expanding her brand collaborations. We are proud of Aku Miaoi's uh, journey with Glitch Stars and are excited to see her transition to Glitch Partnership Network, where she'll be well supported in this next chapter. This move underlines our commitment to providing creators with options that best align with their evolving goals. Glitch Stars and Glitch Partnership Network remain dedicated to supporting creators at every stage of their journey. We look forward to watching Aki Miaoi continue to shine. My guess is, just based on that, Glitch Stars is their direct like agency agency type of thing, and Glitch Partnership Network is more of a talent management side, from what I get. So from what I'm getting here, just from what I'm seeing, from what they're showing to me, instead of being under the direct agency, direct management, she's still going to be under their management, more a partnership versus them being contracted under them type of thing, from what I gather. Because a partnership network sounds more that way. Uh, sad, but very fair. Hope Meowie's is doing great. I can't believe Meowie died. This is so sad. Chat, is this real? Best of luck to Meowie on her new ventures. I'll miss her. Classified as a graduation and now she's affiliated. Can you confirm she will keep her IP as... Aku Miaoi. Now, uh, here, of course, here, um, for Glitch Stars, the company hires its own clippers and editors. Uh, gotcha budget in addition to streaming budget to get two hundred dollars a month. That type of stuff there, as you can see. And the Glitch Stars official, they have other information here. And of course, going further on it, you keep your own IP. According to them, when you move on, when you transition to anything, you get to keep your own IP. So, from what it looks like, she's keeping her IP. She's just under a different management structure than she was originally. Again, hopefully I'm not wrong, but this is the way I'm taking it. Where Neko is in the news today, or at least I'm putting her in the news, I'm putting a spotlight on you. Why? Because just got informed that I've been nominated alongside these absolute legends in the community for the Nikki Nick Nocturnal Awards, not only as the only VTuber, but repping it for the girls. I'm honored to even be mentioned for this. What is she talking about? Here, Obi Katie Cat, Josh Riz, Rez, Burn. Burns, drum beats online. Yeah, yeah, some of these people are amazing. Yeah, like all of these creators are amazing. Everyone who gets in these things are amazing. Fifi's, let's go. Atara Knox, you're amazing. Kate deserved as fuck. And so deserved, Katie. Let's effing go. That type of stuff. If you want to show support for your favorite metal wear knuckle waifu, go make sure to let them know and cast your vote below. Best metal content creator. Of course, will be Katie Cat. Vote now down here, as I had mentioned. And this is a Nick Nocturnal Awards where you can vote. Of course, you can check out them, or you can just go Nick Nocturnal Awards, N-I-K, Nocturnal Awards 2024.com, all one word, and you'll be able to go there and see everything and vote for Obi Katie Cat, the only VTuber there. Great news, wonderful news, big congratulations to them. Of course, that's why I am putting a spotlight on it, because it's always great to see wonderful creators win. No matter who they are, if you have a win situation like this and you are a good creator, like Obi Katie Cat is a sweet woman. She's a sweet creator. She is very humble. She tries to help anyone she can. She's an amazing creator herself. So yeah, I'm going to push this out there, of course. And I, I hope that uh, they win. Kudumi VTuber is a goth gremlin VTuber. Twitch partner has her art tags, everything like that. She's been doing, here is a look at her. Just, you know, silly little gremlin. Not, won't stop yapping. And she recently had a bit of an update, something that can be scary for many people. It is different than what you usually consider a graduation, but chill, I'll explain further. This year comes to a close. I think it's time to formally announce that I, Kurumi, will officially be graduating as a Yandere VTuber. But does that mean? It means that she'll still be a VTuber, but she will not uh, be Yandere anymore. Next year is a new year that will bring many new surprises, including a big redebut slash redesign. I am extremely excited to finally showcase to the whole world that I have been working on for so long and have put so much love, sweat, tears, and my whole soul into. I'm both excited and nervous to embark on this new journey with you all, and I'm hoping you can all respect this choice and, st and step that I am taking. Join me as we go through this new path together. Here's to the future. Here is to the new me. Of course, like I said, it's a new them, but it doesn't mean that they're going to stop being a VTuber, just they're not going to do the Yandere stuff anymore. It says, sorry for the scare. It's 2 a.m. and the brain is mush. I don't know how else to explain that I'm dropping that 
part of my VTuber and branding. That is for us to come. Thank you so much, Gorgeous Hazu. Uh, as someone that did similar, I can tell you that it's so liberating to be free from the expectation of acting a certain way. I'm sure your rebrand will be wonderful, cheering you on. Of course, getting typecast into a certain thing, yandere, kudere, whatever it ends up being, dere, dere, whatever you end up being, being typecast into that specific thing can be problematic for any VTuber. Her taking steps and taking that big leap because there are going to be people who are not going to like it and who are going to leave. It's, it's a part of it. But feeling so much more free and able to do what they want with their content, with their creativity, with what they want to do is a much better step for her and anybody else who wants to do it. So congratulations to them. And I do hope it goes really, really well. We are talking about Zen today. Why are we talking about Zen today? Because Zen is having uh, something new pop up. As we know, she had teased it before the uh, the Nikkei one. She said, made it to seven effing years of content creation and being a VTuber. F yeah. You have one trader for Zen. His costume is super cool. Everyone come. Uh, Jigurama, Jiguruma, Jiguruma, Roja, Girl Boss, Sarajine, Guy. Here we go. And this is the one that she's talking about. It is, as you can see here, music, a lot of music. That's going to get me copywritten. It's going to get me copyright struck. We can see the teases for the intro of her stuff. And it's going to be very, very cool. Very nice look overall. And of course, uh, Celebration of Zentreya's 7 year anniversary. We're proud to prevent the official license anniversary jersey and Daki collection. They're doing this at Daki Makura, agentlink.gg. And of course, uh, in the one here, Nikki X Zentreya, official Nihilister cosplay model debuts right now after the seven year Zentreya anniversary stream. And of course, we're going to have the full views of all Zentreya stuff. This is her full merch look, the um, front and back, the cake. You have that there. You can enjoy that there. Here is her full Nihilister outfit. Maki Onikanze worked on the outfit and they were, they were very grateful for the opportunity. Here's everything, the bust, the um, every part of it, the legs. I do I do love the bottom of the legs. It, it, it's it's balancing on such a tiny, tiny little two pieces there. Holy moly, the Nihilister one is insane there. She still has her arms, of course. She still has a dragon motif, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, she does not have the Asakoko style plug tail, but she does still have a lot of fun stuff here. And here's Entreya walking. There you go. Then I have to, of course, mute it. I apologize for that. There you have some Zentreya stuff. Zentreya walking forward with you. Of course, there's going to be some jiggle physics involved because the human body moves. We are not made out of concrete. So, of course, oh, the vibrations. Oh, there we go. Dear Lordy. Nice. I did not expect that. So there you go. You have that, which is, again, amazing to see. I'm so glad she had that for herself. And I'm so glad that she was able to get that created for herself in the short amount of time that it took. Now, this could possibly go into a flame war because what has happened right now is Highlight Production English says, apology and notice. We would like to sincerely apologize for an error in the image of the t-shirt posted below. The correct design is shown in the attached image. We once again deeply apologize for the mistake and appreciate your understanding. This is their Eurobeat shirts that they have here. And the reason why this is going to be a problem for some is that Gura was a part of the, the Eurobeat shirt before, and now she's not. Why is she not a part of it? Because... In the Eurobeat remix, from what I understand, there were no Gura songs in there, so that makes sense. And uh, down here it says, the reason for Gooba being missing makes sense, but boy, is this going to be a fun comment section. Gooba doko, Gooba doko. Gooba removed probably because she didn't participate in the album. Very true, that's the reason why. Anyone wonder why they removed and why uh, isn't included either? She already has to do with both of them not being involved in this project. They don't have remixes due to she already not having a song. And Goomba already having a remix by the mixer prior to this event. They also don't have the individual merch due to the same reason. Where did Goomba go? Excluding Gura. Very much like an explanation. I'm sure this is nothing. Uh, Gura and Shiori weren't part of the collab, so it makes sense. For Shiori, of course, like I said, people are going to freak out. It's because they weren't a part of the partic They weren't a part of or participating in this event specifically. This is it. This is just for the event. This isn't every single person that's ever had a Eurobeat remix because we know Gura has had a Eurobeat remix and other things like that. So it is not because she doesn't have one, but it's because they weren't a part of it. It was a mix up putting them in there in the beginning. So it's that's just the reason they're not having anything against Gura. It's a freaking they love Gura. Gura is their number one idol right now. They're number one in, in terms of numbers. So they're not going to push her out just for, you know, because they want to. Now we have Hollow Life Fits Fest Capt of the Moment screening event in Hong Kong. Screening events will be held in Hong Kong in December. What am I talking about? Right here, you have the Hong Kong delayed viewing, which they say delayed viewing because it's after Capture the Moment happened. 
people are putting it in Hong Kong, which is fun because some people couldn't watch it. And now they can actually watch it in an official venue. Streaming, of course, because it wasn't it's done in Japan anyway, so they wouldn't be able to see it. The screening events of Hololive Fifth Fest, which took place in March 2024, will be hosted in Hong Kong in December. The screening event in Hong Kong will take place at Golden Harvest Cinema Wam Poa. So uh, ticket sales for December 13th will be available through the Octopus mobile app starting on 27th, uh, 27th of November, 2024, 12 p.m. These are all the times for Hong Kong if you are in the area. And, of course, um, I know some people over here in Southeast Asia and Asia watch me. So if you're in the area, there you go. A little bit of that for you guys. Yeah. Is an Anime X Game Festival in South Korea, of course. Korea's first and largest official animation X Game and event, Anime Game Festival 2024, is the 7th of December 2024 to the 8th of December 2024. Venue, Kintex Exhibition Center, Hall 15. And uh, this is because, the reason why I'm talking about it, is because... Hololive's Roboco and Azuki will be appearing as decided by Hololive in AGF Korea. The ticket sales are there. They're going to have a Hololive meet. Of course, um, my guess is just because of popularity in the area that they're doing this. They have absolutely been very popular. So here is the 41,000 won and 27,000 27, won. I think it's Korean won. Is it Korean won? I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, of course. Uh, in the comments, as I know you will, because I do make mistakes on occasion. And here are the dates that it's going to be 7th through 8th, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun for anybody who can show up. Of course, I am in the States. I'm in the United States, so I will not be able to show up. But want to let you know all the things that are going on in the Hololive world. Welcome back to the VTuber Showcase, everybody, where I like to showcase up-and-coming VTubers, bring some positivity into the community, not try to knock anyone down. Instead, I try to build people up, because that is the best part of the community, helping each other out and pushing each other up instead of it making a huge competition. That's what I want to do. Yes, I do make news stories. I do talk about news and everything like that, but I do not like creating drama. So here we are making everything better. We talk about the lost VTuber, Konubi, uh, a noob Twitch partner, uh, and other things mentioned here, their banners, etc., etc. Here we go. And of course, we're talking about their uh, Twitch channel, their Twitch area here. I'm Kobe, constantly lost, but everything is under control. Uh, please be respectful to everyone. Uh, lost fox and fennec fox living in the desert with my cute sandlings i recently discovered the amazing online community of gamers and i love spending time here chatting with people who share the same passion for games i am complete newbie in gaming thus i have lost i am lost very often i'm the same way let's take a look at some of the videos that they have here available of course let's take a look and see what they've recently done really good chick. that is just sublime you guys to be able to walk on water i can convince my neighbors that i am something more than just a fox i can convince them that i have been sent by a bigger being i will finally be get invited to the parties <laughs> <laughs> always fun to see the, them uh have fun little creative things like this fun little things that they say here and there and of course with the feet right there is konubi on their youtube channel they have recently gotten partner and they have you know little parts here and there the day i decided to cook my my shorts literally vtuber accidentally rude in french other things like this they do of course put some of their live streams up on here they stream on both twitch and youtube at the same time it appears like youtube a lot of streamers will put their vods on youtube because youtube actually saves them for a very long time when Titch, on the other hand, will save them for like 15 days or 30 days max. So appreciate you so much for allowing me to showcase you on my channel. And I do hope this helps you get some more eyes on your channel. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.